Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I'll be going over why I believe the Washington Commanders have a better roster and team in 2023 than they did in 2022 and how that could translate into the 2023 NFL season. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Also hit that like button and that notification bell so you never miss a video. And just because I think the roster is better, the you know, coaching staff is better doesn't mean I think they're going to have a better record. We're going to talk about that. Maybe they will be, but having a better roster is different than having a better record. But let's get into why I think this team overall is better. Well, first off, they're going from Scott Turner to Eric Bieniemy, and Scott Turner, you know, I try to defend him for a little bit, you know, in 2021 and the beginning of, the, of 2022, but he just was awful last year. And was one of the reasons why the commander's offense struggled so much. And just for a multitude of reasons, not giving Terry the ball enough. You know, his use of Antonio Gibson. You know, situational play calling, trying to get too cute sometimes. You know, becoming too predictable at times. And also the pace of the offense was very slow. We I can go on and on in terms of the issues that Scott Turner had, you know, you know, for this offense, but we went from Scott Turner, who was a bottom of the league offensive coordinator, to Eric Bietemi, who I believe is going to be one of the better offensive coordinators in the NFL. You know, worked under Andy Reid for a long time in Kansas City. They were, you know, the, one of the best offenses every single year, the best a few times, and top five almost. I mean, I think every single year he was there. And yeah, developed a lot of good guys there. You know, a lot of guys had great things to say about him. Some didn't, you know, because they didn't like that vocal leadership. But I don't think that's going to be an issue here. And if it is an issue, well, they, they those players can get out of here. That's fine. But I think that is going to be a huge upgrade. Like, I think if we had Eric Binney last year, we'd have won an extra game or two, if not more. Just because certain games, it was like just a little bit better play calling and we would have won that game. Probably both Giants games, to be honest, and maybe that, yeah, maybe the Vikings or Titans game as well. But he's one of the reasons that I think we're going to be better. <clears throat> Another reason you bring in Emmanuel Forbes, and obviously you're going to add players every year, but we added some players and really didn't lose anyone besides like Taylor Heineke, and we replaced him with Jacoby Brissett, who you know you, you could debate is better than him. But you're bringing Emmanuel Forbes, you bring in Quan Martin, and some other guys that will, you know have an impact on this team in their rookie year. But Emmanuel Forbes and Quan Martin should be good additions to this the, to the squad. I think they're going to be good for us. And Emmanuel Forbes hopefully will create a bunch of turnovers. And um, yeah, that, that'll help out this defense. If he can create a bunch of turnovers, this team will be better and he'll be an upgrade over what we had last year. So our secondary this year, you add in Emmanuel Forbes, you add in Quan Martin, you bring back Danny Johnson, you still got Kendall Fuller, you got Benjamin St. Juice, and you got, you know, Kendall or not Cam, Cam Curl, Derek Forrest, and then Percy Butler in his second year. Jeremy Reeves, like I think that's a very, very good unit, especially if Forbes to play as well. So that's another reason why. Another reason you bring in Nick Gates, who you know has dealt with a major injury, but besides that, has been healthy in his career and is a good starting center in this league. And if we have him for 17 games, you know, if he's healthy for 17 games, well, that's a huge upgrade over what we had last year on the offensive line. You also brought back Ty Tyler Larson, and then you got Ricky Stromberg as a third string guy for now. Maybe he goes to second string eventually. So offensive lines upgraded. You bring in Andrew Wiley, and I think that'll be a little bit of an upgrade over as well at right tackle over Lucas. You move in Sam Cosme at right guard. Do I think this offensive line is going to be great? No, but I think it's going to be much improved, which is going to help how how is also mobile, which I think will help, you know, lower those sack numbers as well. And then another upgrade is how over Heineke and Wentz, I think how will be better than those two. I mean, you look at the stats. I mean, I'll just I'll just look at it right. I'll just look at it right now. I mean, you look at Taylor Heineke and his stats. They were not terrible. Like. I'm not here to hate on the guy because, you know, he had some good games and, you know, he had a better year this year, honestly, than the year before. 12 touchdowns, six interceptions, wasn't rushing the ball. 
<clears throat> as much, but he had a solid season, you know, and he had some good games at times, but he also had some games where he lost it for sure. And that 12 and 6, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I think it's the same as Jacoby Brissett. And then you look at Carson Wentz stats, and that was really bad. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Sorry, I'm doing this on the fly, but his stats were not good at all. I think he might have had like an even touchdown interception ratio maybe even negative he had okay it was close to even 11 touchdowns nine interceptions so qb play was not good if how can be below average qb play that's better than what we've had the last four years honestly since probably alex smith or kirk cousins like that's the last time we've had average quarterback play as kirk cousins or above average quarterback play but even average like i think alex smith was still a below average quarterback in this league so if sam how can be below average that's an upgrade over what we had last year and i think that'll help us out a lot you know he is accurate he has good arm strength and he's you know mobile enough i think that's an underrated part of his game i think he'll get us a lot, a lot of yards on the ground you know the issue even though he's been grasping the playbook well according to reports and this is a pre-recorded video by the way but recording this on june 16th but even though he has grasped the playbook well that might be an issue, like in terms of reading defenses and stuff, because he is basically going to be a rookie learning a new offense. So just keep that in mind for Sam Howell. All the other stuff I think will be upgrades over what we had last year at quarterback. But, you know, I'm grateful for the time we had with Taylor Heineke. Next upgrade is Chase Young, man. He's he's going to be, you know, hopefully be playing these 17 games for the Commanders. And he looked, you know, looked good in mini camp and OTA. So hopefully that translates to the season. But even if he has an underwhelming season, it's still an upgrade over what we had. Like, you know, the lowest I could see him get is like five sacks, six sacks. And because even in his 2021 year, like he had one and a half sacks. But if I remember, like he had one sack that he got Matt Ryan down and they called the worst, worst roughing the passer ever. That would have put him at two and a half. And then he had like one or two callback because the penalty is very, very unlucky. So like that's three and a half right there. And he would have been on pace for like seven, six. And that was a very underwhelming season. So even if he has a bad season for his standards, it'll still be an upgrade of what we had last year. And that's that. But if he's elite or if he's like he was in the second half of the year in 2020, this defense can be really, really special. And it would be a significant, significant upgrade over Casey Tuhill, James Smith Williams, and F.A. Obata. So that's that's the, really the biggest X factor for the commanders this year is how does Chase Young look second year? You also bring back Fedarin Mathis, or not bring him back. He's playing. He didn't play last year. He played in like one series and then got hurt. So he's going to be there. John Ridgeway for a whole, you know, for a full season versus like half the season last year. And you got like guys that are hopefully developing like Jamin Davis, Deami Brown, maybe Sam Cosme, Brian Robinson. I think Gibson's going to be used more efficiently in the passing game. So oh, I, I really think this team overall is, you know, is a better team. Do I know, like, do I think they're going to be an 11 win team? No. Probably not, unless Sam Howell goes, you know, off because the schedule is much tougher. So I'm still predicting them eight to nine wins. But I think this, if you put this exact team and coaching staff, you know, in last year's schedule, I think they win ten games. I really do. Maybe even more because last year's schedule was pretty easy compared to this one. Like I think with this team right here and the coaching staff, they probably won that Titans game. And they win the first Giants game, probably won the second one as well. And that's three games right there. And that's not even counting the Vikings, the Lions, and the Browns that were all somewhat close games. So, like, that's three games. Like, I think they win 10, 11 games with uh, this team slash coaching staff from last year. So, that's just what, I, you know, I kind of want to talk about that. But still think it's a very solid team. Just schedule is very, very tough, you know, playing the NFC East. And, you know, you, you got to win at least two to make the playoffs in the NFC East, but probably got to win three or four. On, you know, if you win three, you're in a good spot because the rest of your schedule is a little bit easier. But you are playing the AFC East, which is one of the tougher divisions in football. You got to play the Dolphins, the Jets, the Patriots, and the Bills. I mean, 
if you win two games there, that's very, very good. But, yeah, it's going to be tough, but we will see. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. <coughs> Sorry, if you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace.